Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So this is my patient day. Uh, you've got a runner, Taylor. So you've, got a, you've got a couple of mine, a couple of yours, haven't we? Um, I've never seen mine. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a really, uh, it's a wet and mushy type of surface to this wax. Now this happens a lot when patients have used drops. You can see a little bit of keratin there coming away from uh, from the canal wall. Um, but we've got this much harder lump in the middle here, this sort of harder sort of nugget of wax. Quite deep though, this one. Mm. And that's normally uh, um, the downside of using oil. You could see at the start there, um, the, the oil was stuck to like this, the, the walls of the ear canal and yeah. the hairs in there and it was just rubbing up against the camera so it like blocks our view. This is why sometimes when we've got a really dry wax we always kind of weigh up, you know, putting the olive oil in might help but it might also affect the visual you get so you mm. always take it on a case by case basis as to whether you do it or not. But coming away nice and big, thick kind of ribbon of keratin. Look at that yeah. bad boy. This, oh, this, we said about, I had a ribbon the other day and I didn't, it all broke away. This was the ribbon. Oh, this was it. This was it. <laughs> yeah, I just remember this is the one. So it was a long kind of ribbon. Um, basically this uh, lovely gent, he'd been away on holiday, uh, was trying to keep his ears nice and dry, normally puts earplugs in and then um, fell into the sea and uh, <laughs> got, oh, water, got water in his ear and it moved all the wax around. But it's come away nicely though. Oh, it's always nice to see. Always nice to see when you when you see them coming away in like big pieces. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's when it's really thick and sticky and wet and you're like, oh. This is always the worst bit here. Yeah. Uh, in that kind of stuck down in the recess there because you want it to come away cleanly. Uh, that's not too bad actually, no. that's quite nice. It's when you start to take it away and you get little tiny bits breaking off the top. That's when it's really awkward, isn't it? You got quite lucky there, I think. I think I did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, touch wood. <laughs> Let's have a look, see how that's looking now. Ah, oh, it's looking loads better. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of a blob right in the middle. Just take that bit away. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And a little bit more. There we go. And that bit as well. Looking loads better there. That's much my patient was <clears throat> had almost an instant relief. I mean, when you start getting those bigger plugs away, mm. sometimes the patient will still say, "Oh, you know, are you getting anything yeah. out?" Is it uh, because if you've got those that those kind of pieces right down on top of the eardrum, it's still a bit of an issue, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, we do get a lot of uh, a lot of patients that you know naturally will have a hearing loss uh, that they may or may not be aware of. So, you know, there are some people that we remove a big blockage like this, and then you know, we, we take the wax out and then they feel there's no change. So if that ever happens to you and you've never had your hearing tested, then get, just get your hearing tested. Because yeah. <laughs> there may be a hearing loss there as well. I knew I had a couple last week to do with middle ear effusion as well, which yeah. can sound very similar signs and symptoms to uh, earwax where you get fluid behind the eardrum. And we've had a few of those who've taken some wax away and there's still been fluid and they don't, patients here would say, oh, it's a, it's a bit better, but it's still not where it, back mm -hmm. where it was. Uh, that reminds me guys, if you do have problems with your ears, you can always uh, check out the link tree in the description and you can book yourself an appointment to come and see myself or the amazing Mr. Taylor Green. Uh, and we'll do that for you. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to like, heart, share, follow and subscribe. Look at that keratin, that's thick. That's a chunky piece. Chunky, chunky piece of keratin, that one. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a messy one, isn't it? It almost like it looks like it's all different consistencies. Yeah. And... No, I thought this was going to be one big hard plug, but mm. it, 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 this just... Totally different consistencies all the way through. It's almost like sort of, um, what do they call it in, in geology, strata, where there's like different layers of, of, of I've gone David Attenborough again. It's just, <laughs> it's you know, a bit like strata. It's you know, kind of these layers of different types of uh, wax material and debris in here. Look at that coming away. Oh. It does look like there's a little ring of keratin a bit further in. There we go, out that comes. Yeah, it's really deceiving the wax, isn't it? You, you can never, most of the time you can tell what the consistency is, but yeah. sometimes you can't. Yeah, it, just by looking at it, can't yeah, you sometimes? Sometimes it'll look like a, like a hard block and then you start suctioning it and it just goes, yeah. and it's just wet and ah. Uh, <laughs> but no, that's, that's looking. Oh, there we go, it's coming away. I'm just getting some of that sort of drier keratin material, yeah. a little bit of wax. There you go, oh, oh, that comes. Perfect. There we go, looking lovely. Nice look at the eardrum as well there. Uh, oh, what do you want to do, inches or? Uh, I'll, well, I'll do inch, go on. Just, go on. just over an inch. What's that, an inch and one eighth, is yeah. it? Uh, so what's that, three 
I think that's three centimeters there, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching our video today. Don't forget we are posting more videos, uh, so don't forget to hit that little notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube, but make sure you like the page you're watching this on Facebook, uh, Instagram, what's that on Instagram? Follow? Follow, I think uh, follow. it is on Instagram. Yeah. TikTok, I think it's follow as well. I can't quite remember. Uh, but <laughs> make sure you do all those things for you guys. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but as always, take care of yourselves. Take, take, care, of you. Ooh, don't, take care of your ears. ears. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jumping in. Take, take care of one another as well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.